Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from the beach and I'm with Kathy and she is a dear friend that I met online through the forums and we've been connected for about what three years? Yeah, that's and, about uh, three years. Yeah. yeah. And we first met up in a CFS Health Program yeah. and then we've you know connected on other forums as well and just stayed in touch. And she and her hubby are out here visiting. So yeah. anyway, she's got a great story and we're both you know, recovering from CFS, near the finish line, and just wanted to share some encouragement with you yeah. guys. Yeah, so I guess um, doing CFS started for me with uh, glandular fever. So I was about 17. Yeah, that was and, the same with uh, me. That was, that was yeah. the start of it. And I was so tired and doing all these terrible symptoms and they just, they went on forever. Managed to get well, it cost me one year of high school, then I, I did get to university, but my whole university, I mean, I didn't do any partying. I just did study, sleep, study, sleep, study, sleep, had a few friends and that was it. Yeah. Got a job as a psychologist, got trained as a behavioral therapist. So I had times where I was, you know, I did relatively well, but always just really small part-time jobs. And it wasn't until 10 years ago when I also did a big trip like this, so it's a bit scary. Uh -huh. Uh, that I did major crash, finally had a GP who thought, shorted me out and said, you know what, you've got CFS. And that's when I was really bad bound, I couldn't do anything, could hardly get up the stairs. Wow. I think most of you know how that is and it took very long. So the first thing that really helped me uh, was doing reverse therapy. So that's very much about difference between being in your head mind and your body mind and listening to what it is the wisdom of your body is telling you and what right. you need so listen to your needs but also going from all these have to's and shoots and all to's to the things you really want and doing the things that bring you joy and I think joy is the great healer that's so important is it yeah absolutely so I did really well for a while forgot all about it just did my thing started to push myself again and then there was another crash which I know sort of why it happened uh, let's not go, go into all that because it's quite negative, but then I came, well, first to CFS Health, yeah. uh, so, you know, to get the, the, the baseline and get an idea of, of little things that could help you. So it was a lot about self-care that helped me, but so meeting people who, who, who are having CFS, but who are really into recovery. Uh, instead of just talking about all the symptoms all the time, which doesn't right. help anybody. Right. And I think it was from you and from Jason that I got onto the path of the lightning process. And that for me has been huge in, in changing things around because you sort of bring yourself into a healing state and from there you start to make changes instead of trying to push changes. And again, that's a key difference right that's there. That's the key yeah, difference. Yeah, key there. difference. Um, and, and that's been really helpful to a point where I'm now here in America for 10 years. Traveling, and Traveling. you guys were in Texas first, and yeah. you come to San Francisco, and you're here yeah, for and three weeks around, traveling. Uh, yeah. Around in California. Yeah. And I mean, I, I, I do feel or do, as we say in Latin places, some symptoms, uh, and I need to sort of keep my balance. But as long as I really enjoy it, mm -hmm. take my rest and really enjoy it, I can go a long way. So never give up i mean you can get so much better and i know i will get even better over time and, and do even more of the things that i love absolutely it's so awesome just to have her out here we're having so much fun it's so amazing when you actually meet your online friends it is that you've is. shared you know your journey with and the struggles and the triumphs and to finally meet, it's really amazing. So just be encouraged, warriors, when you're out there and you've gotten to meet people online, that these are real relationships. They are, and yes. Yeah, because you know, we get so isolated yes. with CFS. So yeah. it really means a lot. And we're having fun. I'm gonna show you real quick. We got our hubbies over here chatting away. And what's really <laughs> funny about it is they look just like brothers. I'll, maybe I'll cut in well, the picture. we're looking a bit like sisters. Yeah, we are, so we are, I think so. My little young sister over here. Yay. And so anyway, we just wanted to send you guys love and just know that recovery is within your reach. You can improve, just like Kathy has come so far in her recovery, and for me, going from bed bound, house bound, to where I get now on the beach, we're gonna go out and have a little wine and appetizers now, and we're just having fun. So, Yay. <laughs> dream, keep dreaming from bed, know you're gonna make it, find the tools and resources that are gonna work for you, and we're just sending lots of love. Take Bye. care. Bye. Oh, and remember, life's not over. It's, it's starting, starting again. That's right. <laughs> Bye. Bye.